Let's bring in David Barnes, just the man we need. Because what we need at this particular time is stocks which are stable in price, but which also pay you a big dividend. That's your specialty. And you're with us this morning. So what's your first stock? Intel? Well, we do we do like Intel, but you know, Stuart, when you talk about stable and price, I want to make sure that I'm always very clear with you, but mostly, of course, with with viewers. Stable doesn't mean it can't go down. We prefer they not be able to go down 25 percent in one day like Netflix is today or 50, 60, 70 percent like so much of these hot, cool, shiny objects have done recently. But market volatility is part of being an investor. Yep. With Intel, what you have right now is a stock trading at 10 times earnings in a world trading at 25 times earnings. They um, are very cheap relative to what they can do in the future. You won't like the dividend yield because it's only 2.5%, which is only double what the market yield is. But they grow the dividend every year, and they're investing in America. $20 billion yep. today into Ohio manufacturing plants for transistor technology. $20 billion in Arizona for semiconductor manufacturing. We're thinking a few years out, and we really like Intel. How about IBM? I know you like them, too. A, a similar story. You will like this yield because it's a 5% mm -hmm. dividend yield. They generate a ton of free cash flow. And then we think there's a great opportunity to the upside with their artificial intelligence business, their cloud computing business, when mostly uh, IBM has been valued off of some of their old technology uh, silos. Can so you, we see a growth opportunity there. I'm running out of time. Can you deal with Cisco in 30 seconds? Well, I can just simply tell you the same story. Cisco, like IBM and Intel, has old cash flow generating business lines, but then great dividend yields as they invest into the future. The main theme in my six seconds I have left, shiny objects are not what we ought to be investing in. Good, stable companies produce better returns long term. Always good. David, thank you very much indeed. We will see you again. That's a promise.